Well, welcome to the new age indeed, where you can make money through beauty. So for all of you who love makeup and beauty and to look all glammed up, today we have started this Entrepreneurship Tuesday morning with you. Please make sure you do participate in the conversation at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, hashtag Y in the morning. On Facebook, we're at Y254 and on Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. And on DSTV, we are channel 376. Now with me in studio, I have one Sophia Wishenga. Who is the founder mm, of Zena Glam Kenya? Please say good morning to the Y254 family. For hey, the good day. morning. How mm -hmm. are you? Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be here and thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Yeah, so we'd like to understand from Sylvia herself. Huh? This company that she has is two years old now, but she has styled the top of the top. So we just want to know what did she do? What was the secret? We want to know the story. So make sure you do participate in the conversation. So, Sylvia, let's mm -hmm. talk. How mm -hmm. did you discover your passion in beauty? Mm, I actually I think I, I I've always had a passion in beauty mm -hmm. from a very young age. Mm -hmm. I used to love staring at myself in the mirror. I used to love <laughs> magazines. I used to love runway shows. Mm -hmm. So uh, while I was still in primary school, mm -hmm. one of my aunts gave me lipsticks, mm -hmm. and my mom gave me a mascara. So when I went to form, in primary, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> she just told me, "Hey, you seem like you love beauty." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she just gave me her lipsticks, mm -hmm. and my mom gave me a mascara. So when I went to form one, mm -hmm. I used to be so soft and quiet. Mm -hmm. So for me to make friends, I'd ask someone to come. Mm -hmm. I put some mascara on them and lipstick mm -hmm. and that's how I started loving makeup because it mm -hmm. made me feel like I was able to socialize with other people. Mm -hmm. It gave me confidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, then I never like thought... It gave you confidence. Wow. Yeah, for mm -hmm. some reason, I don't know. Because mm -hmm. it made me feel like, yeah, because everyone would be like, yeah, I like your lashes, I like your lipstick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I felt like it made me relate with other people. Mm -hmm. Then I never thought of it as a business. Mm -hmm. So I, after high school, I went to college, mm -hmm. I started doing accounting, mm -hmm. like accounting. Uh, actually did a bit of accounting, mm -hmm. yeah, but um, I later, I used to love doing my makeup mm -hmm. every day, I'd wake up like two hours earlier, mm -hmm. so that way I'm on fleek always, mm -hmm. so I, even at, uh, in the office people used to ask me to do their brows, mm -hmm. nini, and I used to enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. But and I never like thought of it I, that I could do it as a business. Mm -hmm. So, l in 2017, mm -hmm. I got into an accident and mm -hmm. broke my leg. Mm -hmm. So I got into like a depression, mm -hmm. and whenever I'd do makeup, mm -hmm. I'd feel like something has been lifted off me. So mm -hmm. I started wanting to know more about makeup. Mm -hmm. I started getting a lot of information from you too yeah we'd like to know because <laughs> most people are do i really need to go to school to learn this or no you teach no yourself? and how long did it even take you for you to I, get confidence? i think actually mm -hmm. i just i just dived in mm -hmm. I, I just i t i think i just watched like a few a few videos and mm -hmm. i was like yeah i can mm -hmm. do this i can mm -hmm. do this then i started calling my friends come can come home visit me I, i'll do makeup on you mm -hmm. and I started, po I immediately did makeup and posted. Mm -hmm. Someone called me. Oh. And I was like, wow. <laughs> Business already started. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I actually, at that point, I, I was still in crutches because mm -hmm. I had broken my legs. I was oh. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got some money mm -hmm. and bought some few products and mm -hmm. did went and did makeup on them. And it actually, and the feedback they gave me. Mm -hmm was actually a very good feedback that mm -hmm. eh, the makeup was so nice, everyone loved it, it mm -hmm. stayed throughout the night. Mm -hmm. And actually that's how it started. And makeup. that's how it began. Yeah, that's how it began. I can imagine in the course of these two years you have interacted with all sorts of skin types. I so I'd like to know as a makeup artist, how mm -hmm. do you prepare uh, for a particular skin type? So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a, for me, I mm -hmm. know the three types of skin. Yes. There's the oily skin mm -hmm. and the dry one. The, oh, the dry, mm -hmm. the normal, and then now the combination. Mm -hmm. So for oily skin, mm -hmm. you uh, okay. Most people think that if you have, if you have oily skin, you don't need to moisturize, mm -hmm. but it's actually the opposite. Oh, so when you have oily skin, you, you need, need to, to moisturize because oh, when uh -huh. you don't moisturize, mm -hmm. your skin will overcompensate for that the oil that is not there mm -hmm. but when you moisturize you see the skin mm -hmm. you know that there's oil so it will not produce more oil mm -hmm. so yeah you need to moisturize you need to use a primer mm -hmm. so the primer mm -hmm. and the foundation is 
what uh, what's different what you you use differently because mm -hmm. the primers that are suited for oily skin mm -hmm. the primers that are suited for dry skin mm -hmm. and normal skin it depending on what look you want to achieve mm -hmm. so do you carry for all skin types yeah. for every time you yeah. for a particular session yeah unless what? i know like uh, the client i'm going to meet mm -hmm. i just carry mm -hmm. everything you carry everything yeah Okay, interesting. Um, I can imagine in the course of your work, um, mm. what do you do when you have a client and they and you do their makeup and mm. you're sure you've slayed and mm. then they tell you, I don't like it. How do you deal with an unhappy client? Uh, first of all, before mm -hmm. I start doing makeup on mm -hmm. a client, I have to ask them, what, mm -hmm. what look are you going for? Mm -hmm. What do you feel? What colors do you feel confident in? Mm -hmm. uh, what colors are you comfortable with? Mm -hmm. So for some they'll be like, you just do you. Mm -hmm. For some they'll be very specific. Mm -hmm. I'm a, for for some they even come with photos. I want to look like this person. Uh -huh. But for some reason, it's not mm -hmm. possible to look like a certain person because mm -hmm. we are made differently. Our mm -hmm. skin types are different. Our face shapes are different. Mm -hmm. Our eye. Our eye, the way our eyes are yes, made yeah. is different. So yeah. yeah, but I try to achieve that. Mm -hmm. So most, uh, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not been like a very common occurrence. Mm -hmm. But there are people, yeah, you still do makeup and they're like, I can't see myself. Mm -hmm. I've lost myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need it to be toned down. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you just tone it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let me find out, since you have uh, styled the best of the best, or a few celebrities <laughs> here and there, um, how did you get yourself on the map? Having been only two years old, like, I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. I think it just fate was on my side, because... Mm -hmm. Oh, you were lucky. Yeah, I was just lucky, uh -huh. I think it's uh -huh. just God. Mm -hmm. So, there was a time, um, I first started working with celebrities mm -hmm. when I worked with Couture magazine. Mm -hmm. So it was one day I was sleeping. It was very late at night. Mm -hmm. Someone just called me. Mm -hmm. We have a shoot tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, will you be available mm -hmm. by this time? Mm -hmm. This place. Hey, I was like, huh. It was around one in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, let me, because it was like a pro bono. I was like, okay, let me just try it because I'm still building my brand. Mm -hmm. I went and it was, yeah, it was a shoot for like, I think Vivo. Mm -hmm. So from then we used to work together and that's when I used to meet up with a lot of celebrities and mm -hmm. most of them liked my work so mm -hmm. they'd call me back later for mm -hmm. their own personal mm -hmm. makeup sessions yeah mm -hmm. and then after that uh, every every TV reached out mm -hmm. I worked with them for for almost a year mm -hmm. then later on KTN reached out mm -hmm. so yeah that's how Okay, interesting. So when you decided you wanted to start now the business, and you are mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. Zena Glam, mm -hmm. officially, mm -hmm. how did you arrive at that particular name? Uh, Zena Glam. Mm -hmm. I, I fused two names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, I've uh, um, both my grandmothers, one one of them is called Fena and the mm -hmm. other one is called Esna. So I oh, mashed them up to come up with Zena uh -huh. plus it sounds Costarian mm -hmm. and you know Costarians love makeup and I love Arabic makeup mm -hmm. so I was like yeah it's a cool name for uh so it had some Arabic yeah some so most Arabic of the people actually <laughs> think that I'm Swahili mm -hmm. or and most people think Swahilis know how to do makeup yes. so they'll be like yeah she's Swahili she she must be good at herself. so the name actually <laughs> works for you yeah so you it actually people works trust for me. To, uh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um I, would, I wanted to understand for me what do you think is the mm -hmm. most important quality a makeup artist should have Personal hygiene. <laughs> oh, personal hygiene. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, I think personal hygiene mm -hmm. and interpersonal relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you need to be very patient mm -hmm. and very understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Patience and understanding. Yeah, because you tend, to, you know, we, we men, mm -hmm. we are all over the place. <laughs> one minute you are happy, one minute you are no, one minute. Yeah. So you have to be like very patient. Mm -hmm. And very calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, a, there's there's some sort of calmness that is yeah. required in this. Yeah, world. yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm guessing from you that also how you were able to get on the map is mm -hmm. that you referrals people. Yeah, refer most you. most of my jobs are referrals. Cause yes. I rarely like post on like glam pages. Mm -hmm. Nini nini. Cause I'm I'm, I'm kind of shy, mm -hmm. so I'm not out there. So mm -hmm. most of my jobs are referrals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what about what other techniques did you use aside from referrals? What other means did you use to market yourself? Mm, of course, social media. Mm -hmm. 
I opened up a page uh, and networking. I did a lot of pro bonos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Oh, you had to do a lot of pro yeah, bonos. Yeah, I've done pro bonos. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's Actually, young think people <laughs> really don't like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I have done a lot of pro bonos, especially mm -hmm. things like whether maybe fashion shows, mm -hmm. like nini, what are they called? So you have to be willing. To yeah, you have to be willing, you have to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both resources and time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because that, that's the only way you'll network with people. Mm -hmm. But if you keep at it, just posting, posting, everyone is posting their work, everyone is good at their yeah. job. Mm -hmm. So you have to like, Put more efforts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what would you say is the is the is the most unique thing about Zena Glam, and as of compared to other makeup lines that we have in Kenya right now? Mm, the most unique thing about about Zena Glam is mm -hmm. that okay, uh, my makeup, mm -hmm. most of it is. If you'll notice, it's not, it will still be the same person, mm -hmm. but you'll be like a prettier version of you. <laughs> I try to just let you be you, <laughs> but not like mm -hmm. cake you up and make you look like someone different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just enhance mm -hmm. what you have. All right. Yeah, and if you feel like, yeah, I'm still me, but I'm still pretty. You're still, so you maintain some yeah. form of originality? Yeah, I still maintain okay. you. All right, so yeah. there's a lot of natural... Vibes yeah, to natural you vibe. Don't want to transform yeah. someone completely. Yeah, like those at is at one minute you're you, the next minute you're to someone totally different. Yes, I've seen boy child complaining a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I can see we're on your page. I can mm. see you've also done Helen Tawali's uh, makeup. Yep. It's one of the celebrities I can see mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Can we scroll? Can we scroll down and then we can see some of the pictures so that we can also see some of the ladies that you. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. I can see Thandiwe Yego there looking so nice. Yep. I can see Ndui guys in that. Yeah, yeah, that's Ndui by design. Uh -huh. That's Mwikali. Thandiwe. Thandiwe's makeup. That's DJ Melo right mm -hmm. there. DJ Melo. What? Yeah, okay. She, Even the DJs are doing makeup now. Yeah, oh, hi. Okay. Got to sleep. Mm -hmm. Everyone. So let me ask you. I can see Caroline Gede. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. Caroline. Ah, so let me mm -hmm. ask you, how do you keep yourself abreast with the new beauty trends? How do you keep yourself Ish. in the know? Because it's always changing. I'm always on YouTube. I mm -hmm. think I'm always, because uh, every day I, f I have to learn something new every mm -hmm. day. Because there are new makeup trends every day, mm -hmm. there are new products every day. Mm -hmm. there, there, are new, mm -hmm. there are new ways of doing different things every day. There are new life hacks every day, mm -hmm. makeup hacks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I, I'm still learning. I'm mm -hmm. still a learner. I, mm -hmm. I never like settle. Mm -hmm. I never feel like I'm the best. Mm -hmm. I always want to like learn, learn, learn every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never get tired of learning because there's more to there's learn. There's always, you can always Yeah, be and there's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially on the internet so. especially on the internet mm. so it's a place people can go and yeah source out to yeah learn. yeah you can be anything with youtube you well, can be a cook you can be a tailor <laughs> youtube school please yep. that they should start giving degrees now it appears yep. so many people yeah. actually have come and yeah. say they learned a, a lot of mm -hmm. their craft on youtube mm. um there's something you said about when i asked you about the qualities that a makeup artist should have mm. and you talked about personal hygiene mm. now there's a question here that has popped up that i find very interesting um mm. when and how do you clean your tools Okay, uh, for mm -hmm. brushes especially, mm -hmm. you should clean them after every client. So you should mm -hmm. always have like uh, something like mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to to clean, mm -hmm. like alcohol or something. Mm -hmm. Or you should have lots of brushes. Like mm -hmm. me, I think I have hundreds of brushes. Because mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, when you keep a brush dirty, even as as an any as a uh, when you're doing makeup for yourself yeah. you should not you should always clean your brushes because ah. the bacterial meaning they are in the brush and when you use it on your <laughs> you face you mean they multiply <laughs> in the brush <laughs> english yeah i know when they nini multiply yeah when they multiply <laughs> in the brush and you use your br the brush on your face uh -huh. they you end up being infected you end up breaking out mm -hmm. yeah so yeah because i can see because i'm seeing like there's a lot of that issue 
People mm. say people 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 don't trust a lot of makeup artists because yeah. they don't know yeah. whether they they they, 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 they clean brushes. the brushes. Yes. But they, mm. a clean brush will always look clean. Clean? Yeah. No, there's nothing like it looks clean. There's no, no it is because uh, once uh -huh. you use a, a brush, because most mm -hmm. brushes are white. Mm -hmm. It will look brown, mm -hmm. so you can't use it on someone else. So also the trick is the color. If I see someone yeah. with a lot of black products, I'll be like. Actually, I don't. I don't <laughs> see a lot of black brushes mm -hmm. or brown brushes. Mm -hmm. Most of them have like white, mm -hmm. white fuzz. I can see. I can see a, a, a video here of mm -hmm. someone. Is this one of your clients? Yeah, yeah. Actually, for mm -hmm. last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you ever encountered a Brazilian? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be an interesting story to hear. Mm, not really. Mm -hmm. Okay, not uh, for makeup, but mm -hmm. with other things, yes. Yes. But for with makeup, I think no, because me, I, 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 mm -hmm. I'm so chilled, mm -hmm. so I'm always scared of drama. I'm like, mm -hmm. God, please let this be a nice day. Mm -hmm. Let me not encounter dramas, mm -hmm. dramatic people. But, but now when it's there, what do you do? Imagine I've, people. I've only encountered one, mm -hmm. and I think she was, she was not like a Brazilian Brazilian. Mm -hmm. She was a very emotional bride, mm -hmm. and I think she's not used to makeup. <laughs> So uh -huh. when I did her makeup mm -hmm. and then she looked at herself in the mirror, because mm -hmm. I had put lashes, mm -hmm. she started crying. Oh my God, this she is not crying. me. <laughs> this is not me. Uh -huh. And then so I had to, remo to remove the lashes. Mm -hmm. Then she had to chill for a minute. Then when she looked at herself, she was like, oh, I look nice. Oh, That's just why. She, yeah. Nice. But, in that but moment I, I was like panic. so scared because <laughs> she was one of those public figures, mm -hmm. so I was like, my goodness. Yeah, like this one can go and ruin my name now. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to be posted on by us. <laughs> You're about to find yourself on a blog. But she actually, she eventually liked it, because mm -hmm. I think she was just emotional at uh -huh. that time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm. it was other things, maybe not yeah. even really yeah. the issue of the makeup. I, I, yeah, she felt like she's not her. Mm -hmm. no, I don't know. Yeah, because I see there's a lot of perception of, uh, the, and that's also the issue about confidence, which mm -hmm. you talked about in the beginning, that mm -hmm. some people don't have any confidence yeah. like when, when they don't have the makeup on. Mm -hmm. And what and what have you, what do you have? What are some of the stereotypes you have encountered in this industry that you can let us know before we talk about the highlight of your career and the favorite <laughs> celebrity that you so, um, <laughs> yeah, did your thing on? Mm, mm -hmm. uh, some of the stereotypes I've encountered is mm -hmm. that you if you have makeup on, you are a liar. Mm -hmm. No, it's so funny. You're a liar. Like you, you're lying. Uh -huh. You're not like a genuine person. Mm -hmm. You're hypocritical or something. But I'm like, you know, we we are not born with purple eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look at me, yeah. see me with purple eyes, and think like, wow, she has purple eyes. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's makeup. Mm -hmm. Or maybe red li lips. Mm -hmm. No one is born with red lips unless you're. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, makeup is just there for 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 us ladies. I think we just put on makeup for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you feel like we want to have, yeah, to just want to look nice. Mm -hmm. It's like having a haircut. Mm -hmm. It's like making your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't feel like makeup is there to like lie to people mm -hmm. or or. So people should stop imagining. Yeah, it. or hide imperfections yeah. or yeah. Or um, let's talk about hiding imperfections, mm -hmm. by the way. When you meet somebody who has a breakout, like a lot of mm -hmm. pimples or acne, there's even adult acne I discovered mm -hmm. the other day. What do you do? What, what, what procedures do you do? How do you hide everything? Uh, uh, concealers, concealers, mm -hmm. concealers. But they'll, but they'll pop. They're, they're no, not. actually, you can mm -hmm. actually minimize. Because mm -hmm. you see, when, when you, you use something dark, mm -hmm on the skin mm -hmm. it that like on a pimple mm -hmm. it will recede oh when you use something light it will bring it forward oh so it's the yeah. same, same of the <laughs> yeah. yeah i can see can so you if you have like a bump mm -hmm. just use like a dark a darker concealer mm -hmm. darker than your skin tone yeah mm -hmm. then you put foundation and then it actually recedes. Interesting. I yeah. didn't know that, but at least now I've learned that from like you. Hack. So now because we've talked about Bridezillas and, and the tough experiences, let's talk about your favorite experiences. Um, was it was it a was it a celebrity that you that you that you glammed up? In fact, yeah. that's the word, that you glammed up and they were like, Whoa yeah, I think mm -hmm. hey, most of my ninis are my mm -hmm. favorite ones because mm -hmm. sometimes someone just calls you, you're mm -hmm. not you're like 
ah, maybe it's just someone, someone there. Mm -hmm. And then you go there and it's actually uh, like a celebrity and you're like, whoa, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they neither trusted me to do their makeup. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think everyone I meet, mm -hmm. I've met people that I've, I've admired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, that has just made me feel so humbled. Yes, I can see Tandiwe here looking very yeah. happy with mm -hmm. the way she looks. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I think if uh -huh. there's something I live for, is mm -hmm. for someone to like feel like their their best self with mm -hmm. my makeup on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about this industry now in general, even mm -hmm. now as Kenya, as this particular country. What can you say are some of the changes that need to be made when it comes to this industry? Huh. Some of the changes mm -hmm. are, uh, I think, for makeup artists especially. Mm -hmm. Every face has their own kind of makeup. Yes. Not all makeup, mm -hmm. as in all makeup techniques, work on every face. Because mm -hmm. you'll find a makeup artist, mm -hmm. the way they do their makeup mm -hmm. and the way they do their clients' makeup is mm -hmm. the same way. So all of them end up looking, looking the same. Looking the same, twinning. Yeah, they all <laughs> twin. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. Their eyebrows are different. Their face structures are different, but yeah. they'll end up looking the same. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like, you need to study your client's face. Mm -hmm. You need to study what works for them and what does not work for them. Don't mm -hmm. just do it because it's done like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be creative. Because mm -hmm. most people like follow what's on the book. Like if you're supposed to put this highlighter here, you put it there. If mm -hmm. you're supposed to put this lipstick here, you put it here. Guys should feel free. And yeah, and feel free. Be things. creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think creativity. Most people lack creativity. Mm -hmm. So there's an issue of creativity with this industry. <laughs> People are busy I twinning and that. <laughs> Yeah, that okay. twinning thing, mm -hmm. I am like, wow. It this, gets you off. Yeah, because yeah. like <laughs> these people are two different people. Mm -hmm. how, do, how are they looking the same after uh -huh. makeup? Uh -huh. yeah. Interesting. So um, for someone at home who is, who, is, who is maybe interested in joining mm -hmm. this beauty uh, mm -hmm. industry and line, what mm -hmm. words do you have for them, aside from the ones that you've already told us here yeah, about one. personal hygiene and, mm -hmm. yes, and creativity? What else? For makeup, I think, don't take it as a hobby, mm -hmm. take it as a business. Because mm -hmm. it's take so it easy. Seriously. Yeah, take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And number two, invest in your products. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have genuine products, mm -hmm. you have genuine tools, you mm -hmm. have things that... Because such things, little things will, mm -hmm. will affect the quality of your work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be honest. Mm -hmm. Especially be honest. Uh, uh, makeup uh, artists, because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you have like, especially around the wedding season, there mm -hmm. are so many clients you oh. can end up like booking at a four four brides in a day. Mm. Just be honest. Tell them I have this this brides already. Mm -hmm. So no, instead of like b overbooking, then when that day comes, you can't hack because mm -hmm. you know Nairobi and traffic. Yeah. Some maybe you have a wedding in Kiambu Road, another uh. one is on Gong Road. Well, so it's important for you to tell the truth yeah. so that you can also maintain you just good tell the, Yeah, because you'll end up messing, yeah. you'll end up being late, and okay. that really affects your work. Because as a makeup artist, you need to be calm. You can't work under pressure. Yes. Like, okay, I can imagine me. it takes I a lot of time. I can't work under pressure. Yeah. Even sometimes I just block people's voices. If someone talks to me, I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, okay. you're talking to me, but <laughs> I'm not listening to mm -hmm. you. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think honesty mm -hmm. and just be will just be willing to share mm -hmm. with other uh, other makeup artists. Maybe you have so many jobs, and maybe you know other people who don't have jobs, and they do a good job. You can share. Because for me, I've got oh, I've wow. gotten referrals from other makeup artists, and we've never met. Oh, yeah. I give jobs to other makeup artists we've never met. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you share, mm -hmm. yeah. To say Diane. To say Because what you mean, you're like, yeah, these are my clients, these mm -hmm. are my clients. Mm -hmm. You end up losing them because mm -hmm. maybe you'll not always be there for them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Share knowledge. Mm -hmm. And have you taken anyone under your wing, under Zen and Yeah, Yam? I think I'm, I'm always teaching people. I, mm -hmm. I, I love explaining things. Mm -hmm. You even like to explain. I love, uh -huh. Even when I'm doing makeup on my uh -huh. clients, I'm like, you need to use this, your skin type is this and this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the more you explain, the more you internalize, the better you become. You ah. want to know more. Yeah. So the more you share, the more you also yeah, learn. Yeah, you also learn. Interesting. That's a very good message yeah. that you have left, you left us with here yep. today. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know, um, if the fans wanted to reach you, just in case they have just slid into this interview right now, mm -hmm. where can they find you on social media? How can they reach you? On, on Instagram, I'm uh, at Zenaglam. Mm -hmm. 
uh, on Facebook. I'm at Zena Glam, mm -hmm. makeup artist and hairstylist. Mm -hmm. I also do hair, but mm -hmm. I major uh, in on makeup. makeup mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just on IG and Facebook. <laughs> and social media. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, Sylvia. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Thank you for sharing your story. I mm -hmm. hope you have learned some, something. If you're interested in the beauty industry, please do not go anywhere. The next interview is coming soon. Please follow on Twitter. You can find us at white 54 channel. The hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Make sure you let us know your hustle and what you're doing. And on DSTV, we are on channel 376, just in case you are not aware. So thank you very much. My name is Hilda Wadidi. Please do not go anywhere. My God, I was getting to...